The purpose of this video is to provide a quick introduction on how to use the full license of Zoom. If you have never used Zoom before, you can still use Zoom without installing the software on your computer. All you need to do is click the link and follow the prompts to get to the meeting room. If you have a license or wish to download the free version of Zoom onto your desktop to broaden the services available through Zoom, you can go to this link to download the software license sold separately. This is the link and this is the, the web page that you will be brought to to download the software. Once you have the software downloaded and a full license, you will be given four different tabs and I will go through each tab to introduce you to the software. First, you have the Home tab. You have the New Meeting tab, which allows you to quickly set up a meeting without the requirement to schedule a date or time. You can quickly share the details of your meeting by clicking Participants, Invite, and you can click Copy Invite, which will bring you to this information which is simply the url or you can click copy invitation which is a more detailed version of the meeting invite the join tab allows you to enter meeting room details of another meeting room for you to join the schedule button allows you to set up meetings and this is also connected through your Outlook to invite your Outlook contacts. You will click this to update the duration. One thing to note is if the dial-in is in the United States you may wish to change it to Canada but if most people are logging in through their computers, uh, this may not be mandatory to change. The share screen function is similar to the join function. The chat function allows you to chat with others within the licensed domain, in this case, the Unity Health Toronto network. Those not included in the Unity license will not show up in the search. In this tab, you can message individuals one to one, or you can create chats to communicate with multiple people who share the same responsibilities. You can do that by searching their name or search their name, or you can click this plus button here and you can create a new chat. And you can add people as such. You can quickly set up Zoom calls through the chat function as well by clicking on the video camera. So you would click the individual you would like to speak with and then click meet with video to arrange the call. Within the chats, you can send screenshots, files, and have small conversations that otherwise may be numerous emails. This is an area where it can be a little bit more informal. You can star the channels or contacts so they are pinned to the top of your contact list. You can also see the status of individuals. Green indicates online. Gray may indicate that they are currently away uh, or on a break. Uh, red means that they are busy. Um, Gray no fill means that they are offline and green no fill means that they are offline but available through cell phone and if there is a camera it means that they are on a zoom call. Your meetings tab details the meetings that you have coming up next. Remember that this may be different from what you have set up in Outlook. The contacts tab details all the people that are inside the hospital zoom network. 
Next, you have your personal settings uh, menu where you can change your status. Get your status here. You can also change your display picture if you so choose by clicking that button and clicking change here. You can also uh, click settings to play around with your different settings here. And if you want to have that nice virtual background, you can click um, these buttons to set it up, or you can update your own virtual background.